So the deep-seated supremacy battle between Chief Justice William Mutunga and his deputy Kalpana Rawal played out openly today at the Supreme Court, where a five-judge bench is hearing a dispute on retirement age of judges. The advocate representing Rawal and the Judicial Service Commission engaged in a fierce war of words on whether the Chief Justice acted within his powers by fast-tracking the hearing of the case. KTN's Murimi Mwangi now reports. For the better part of Tuesday morning, the Supreme Court was embroiled in a fierce verbal crossfire. It was all about a directive where Chief Justice Willy Mutunga first struck the hearing of the retirement dispute involving Deputy Chief Justice Kalpana Rawal and suspended Supreme Court Judge Philip Tunoi. Rawal and Tunoi are challenging their retirement at 70. On the 30th of May, Mutunga invoked his administrative authority as the president of the Supreme Court and brought the hearing of the dispute closer by three weeks from the initial June 24th hearing date set by Supreme Court Judge Njokin Dongo. What the Chief Justice did is unconstitutional, is illegal and unlawful. The Chief Justice should be the head of the judiciary. It means he is the real head. <laughs> <laughs> he did not say the order given by my lady Justice Njoki. He just changed the date of the hearing date. Order that Justice Nung made must remain in force. The case has to be heard on the 24th of June. And while Rawal and Tunoi are technically barred from hearing the dispute, the retirement of Mutunga on the 16th of June is set to plunge the Supreme Court into a quorum hitch as only four judges will be available to hear the dispute. To be fully constituted, the Supreme Court must have at least five judges on the bench. And this is to be a lesson to all the other young people who may be made chief judges in the future. Not to think that they can come around and they take over the power and dictate to other judges what to do. Suppose someone comes to this court and a single judge declares him the president of the country. Could the Chief Justice wait for the interparties hearing, for example, of July 24th or July 25th? It is important that this court seizes this moment so that the succeeding Chief Justice does not extend this frontier that has been opened by the current Chief Justice. But a bigger storm awaits the country's top court on Wednesday as the bench hears an application by activist Okia Omutata who wants the Supreme Court to disqualify itself from hearing the retirement age dispute on account of alleged vested interests among some of the judges on the bench. With only nine days to the exit of the Chief Justice, the Supreme Court is no doubt under intense pressure to speedily dispose of the retirement age stalemate that has not threatened to cause a total paralysis at the country's top court. Muremi Mwangi, KTN News, in Nairobi.